Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a general reading for you for uh, the first half of October 2020. We're going to take an issue, no particular subject, um, see what wants to come out. We'll take something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. <clears throat> Recent past, immediate future and outcome. We'll clarify those and get a message out there. Um, it's not going to resonate for every one of you, um, with it being general, so do check out your other placements, your Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, any stellium you might have in your chart. And uh, thank you for the like, shares and subscribes, the channel's really growing. Um, I need to continue the growth, so if you haven't done so, please do. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm circulate the, uh, the videos. And if you want to reach out for a personal reading, um, you can do the details are in the description box. Okay, Aquarius, what have we got? Five of Wands, okay. Conflict. Trouble causes possibly in your mist. Let's get the rest out. Right. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands with a chariot and the tower. Okay, some fast movement is coming in. I feel like this is saying, because the four of well, four of swords is beneath that. Um, be careful of burning out. Be careful of burning out. Fast pace, fast pace. Tower hits. Hospitalization, not necessarily, but you know, um, forced to forced to rest, forced to heal. Um, so I kind of feel like it's saying, watch you don't burn out. Maybe you're doing too much. Um, five of ones. So I d now that I've said that, I'm seeing this person doing five things at once here, um, and the setting fire. So burning the um, you know, burning the candle at both ends type of energy. Uh, what you're aware of is the six of ones. You're doing it because you want fame. You're working hard. You want recognition for whatever aspects in life, possibly work. Um, but again, you know the the wand is burning. You're just going to weigh yourself out at the moment. I feel the same energy here. What you're not aware of is it will burn you out and you will fall. Um, I'm reading the fall as in falling backwards here, and I think that's just exhaustion. Uh, the recent past is the Knight of Swords, so I kind of feel like you've really. Again, it's another fast speed. Um, you've found something that you wanted and you've really charged in life ahead probably without thinking about sort of con consequences and I feel like consequences I feel is health here um, and, and I've, I was immediately as soon as I said that I was drawn to the six of ones the six of the six houses house of health Virgo energy you could have Virgo in your chart and um, the immediate future is the magician I feel if you don't balance the elements here the outcome is the Nine of Swords. You're going to be having a breakdown, essentially, because you just took on too much. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers. But I kind of feel that's the main message here. Okay, bottom of the deck again, six of wands with the hierophant and the queen of wands. I feel like you're desperate to get approval of somebody. I think you're getting trying to get an approval of somebody that you uh, you truly love. Uh, strangely enough, um, in this sort of right away deck, uh, there's two cards that came extra purely for art purposes. Uh, but I've left them in the pack because they both, you know, they both spoke to me. I, I labelled 
my own sort of interpretation on them and left them in and both have come out in this reading so we're going to get to them in a second okay so the five of wands um, is with the two of wands so I kind of feel like you're doing five things when you really ought to be doing two is the message there concentrate on just a couple of things rather than juggling everything what you're aware of is the six of wands you're doing it for recognition I think you're doing it recognition for love um, so one the reason why I label this and I'll get to it now so the the lovers card um, can be genuine you know two people perfect for each other lovers it can be Gemini energy it can also make mean making choices so when I got this card and it's purely um, artwork but I've labeled this as true love so this is kind of like getting the lover's card but without the connotations of it possibly making meaning decisions and or Gemini this is just true love divine love with the doves above it I think you're working your socks off trying to get approval for a lover someone that you see as your divine love what you don't realize in your subconscious um, is the fool with the star um, and again I kind of feel like it's a burn burning out the message here is don't burn yourself out for this person if if it is true love the stars have aligned it anyway so have faith that you would come together anyway in the recent past we've got the knight of swords um, with the four of pentacles so I think money has been an issue in your past and you feel like money is an issue for this person so you've rushed out to try and earn as much as you possibly can maybe to impress immediate future is a magician with the empress um, you need to balance this because you're going to burn yourself out and again I kind of feel like this is a divinely guided element here because the empress is here it's your divine counterpart especially with the fact that I've labelled this as the true love card the stars are going to align this anyway so don't kill yourself essentially trying to make something happen that's pretty much destined I think is the message here outcome is the nine of swords this worry uh, however in this deck I don't, I'm, I'm not too bothered about the nine of swords I mean it's it's not not pleasant energy but like I said the angels are chasing away the crows so you're getting protected from the angels and the second card in that deck um, that was just purely art I picked up I look as grandparents or ancestors past deceased people watching out for you and we've got that to clarify it so I feel like don't worry about this situation, your ancestors are lining it all up for you. So don't burn yourself out because it's going to happen. Okay? I don't feel the need to actually clarify anything further here. I will take one, I feel, for the magician and the empress with the six of cups. It's your soulmate, so don't worry. You know, and then we've got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This person is your soulmate. Please don't burn yourself out trying to impress them. The stars are aligning for you anyway. Okay? Okay, Aquarius. Um, you're here with the Aquarius energy. We've got Aries, Gemini. Um, we've got Libra, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. But we've got wands, we've got pentacles, we've got swords. We've got cups, everybody's here, but those are your standouts. Okay? Alright, Aquarius. So put a couple of those ones down because you're going to weigh yourself out. <laughs> Alright, take care and um, thank you for following the channel. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.